Yeah, go over right here. Right. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. What's up, Tubers? This is Ted with TP Tech. Today we're going to be reviewing the Craftman 60 volt brushless screen trimmer. This screen trimmer I got from Lowe's. Lowe's now sells. Crafting products, and I've always loved crafting products, and I love how they uh, don't give you no lip about a return if some problem. I wanted to try this because I needed the power of a 60 volt trimmer. That little 18 volt Ryobi was just not strong enough to do what I wanted to do. Anytime you get a trimmer that's got only one string on it, it's not that powerful. So that's one of the things you look for is how many strings on it. So this uh, trimmer have uh, plenty features on it. First of all, it has a quick spooling where you can load the uh, nylon cutting string on it real easy. And it's also got a bump feed where you can just tap the ground on it and it uh, extends the feed out to the cutter cuts it off at the proper length and it come with a telescopic uh, pole where it can fit any size person and what I like to do is balance my pole with the thing so let's go ahead and let's show you what this trimmer look like let me show you the trimmer <coughs> this is a 60 volt cordless trimmer with a 2.5 amp hour battery which is a lithium battery. Uh, we all know the lithium batteries last a long time. And 60 volts, that should be all the power that I need. I made this video one time, but it wasn't in focus, so I had to do it all over again. So hopefully I can remember all the pointers that I said in the last video. Anyway, it's got a high and low switch that a lower the speed for whatever reason you want to do that and got the high speed also got the safety locks to where you have to push it in and make the switch come on and it's got the huge brushless motor with the two thick strain that look like about a 0 0.80 meg strain here and the easy wind, that's what I like about that. If you ever run out of strength, you can just wind it back up. Really easy. Also got the see-through uh, shield here that's not covering the whole thing. That's why a lot of people take this off. But this here is got the cutting edge and got it. I'm able to see what am I what I'm doing here without that shield being all, all the way up here. I like that feature they got there, plus I'm protected with stuff slinging here. Sling the centrifugal force into here first. All right, it's got this aluminum, light aluminum uh, pole here. That pole here is also adjustable. And that's look like it's about got like a feet adjustment. Maybe they should have done just a little bit more adjustment on that. Then we got a balance adjustment right here. I got it bounced now, so I'm not going to move it. This will move back and forth about seven inches, maybe six inches. But I got it bounced for me. So when I see how I'm holding that right there, and everything is balanced. So when I hold this thing, I, I don't want it fighting against me. I want it to be balanced with this motor so it'll be light as possible. And this is how I can tell whether the motor is the battery is fully charged they kind of got it here than most batteries instead of on the side here they got it on the top so on the top here i just mash that button let me get a little closer here mash that button and it'll tell me how full it is that's a fully charged battery and it's a craftsman 60 volt so to unlock the battery you just push down on that it kicks it out a little bit huge battery 
most of the weight is the battery itself, really. But uh, in order to get the power, you need a, a battery that side. But they balance this thing out. It looks like it's well thought out, mostly. And another feature I like is got the hang-up feature. Where it's out of the way here, but when I'm ready to put the uh, the balance feature here, if I want to put it up, all I do is pull up on that, pull up on that right there, and I can hang it up on the wall. I like that feature. Then we got the 60 volt, 2.5 amp battery, which is a huge battery, almost eight or nine inches long by about four inches long maybe wide so it's got the bump feeder where you just hit it on the ground and it feeds itself so that's where you can run it you lock these two back up here see that line Got a line here and a line here. You line that back up when you're done with this. When you're done winding it up, that'll let you know it's locked back in place. Okay, let me let you hear what that motor sound like. I guess I need to do that where my microphone is at. Double speed trigger there. That's pretty good. Got the aluminum bar here. The adjustable, the adjustable handle. This goes about maybe nine to a foot long. I like the rubber trimming they got here to make it a little more comfortable. Take up some of the vibration and shock with that being rubber. Pretty nice trimmer. I got this trimmer on clearance from Lowe's. It's regular $199. I got it for $129. And, if you look, you, and when I use my Lowe's card, I got it for $113. So I went there to get the one they had on sale for $99. And it was the little, I think 24 volt. Right. But when I saw it and had that one string, I knew it wasn't gonna have the power. It'd be just the same as what I got. So when I saw this on clearance, I'm like, hey, this is what I need right here. And that is why I got it. So far, I've been really satisfied with it. So let's go out here and do a little cutting with it. See how I do. <coughs> My yard is good and cut, so I'm gonna cut the neighbor's yard a little bit here. I'm sure he won't mind. I guess I got it in focus there. There we go. Probably the best electric trimmer I own. 
Better than all of them that I bought. Better than the 40 boot. Definitely better than the 18 boot. So this Craftsman trimmer, that's brushless. And that's one of the best parts about it being brushless. Lasts me a long time. Full power. So this has been Ted with TP Tech. And this is a bye.